Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another little behind the scenes video. Today is the first day that I'm actually trying to stick to a schedule. I'm trying to do Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'm telling you guys to hold me accountable because I am super bad at keeping a schedule. Sorry for the mess in the background. There's like 17 different projects going on at once. But in the meantime, there's a bunch of guitar sh in my kitchen waiting to be unboxed so i thought it'd be cool to unbox all the new stuff that'll be coming up on the channel together like part of what it's like to be a guitar youtuber that's usually off camera so if you go on to enjoy the video do me a huge favor hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already maybe hit the notification bell that way you don't miss any new uploads from me i really do appreciate all those sacrifices the algorithm gods because my channel could really use it right now and with that let's see what's going on in the kitchen all right we are back in the kitchen and there's a few boxes all right so this is quite a lot i think we're gonna split it up up into two because realistically I don't want to unbox everything and then not have demos out for them for months so I think today though this big box from Toman down here is calling my name so let's start with that and then I think this pizza thing <laughs> needs to be opened all right first box let's go So, fun fact about Harley Benton guitars. I'm not entirely sure what the situation is right now. I think it's back to normal. But basically, for international orders, they send you this sized box. At least in normal times. And in this box, they can fit up to three guitars. So generally, for up to three guitars, you're paying one flat rate for shipping. Which is kind of cool, right? So you're not like paying 30 bucks for one guitar, 60 bucks for two, 90 bucks for three. That just destroys the value. And as you can see, they use a ton of packaging and it's recyclable paper. It's not styrofoam or anything like that, which is very cool. I'm making a mess everywhere, and I also forgot what they're sending me, so we're gonna find out together. All right, first box within the box. Oh yeah, and a little bit of a disclosure for those of you who are unaware, I do some product design stuff for Harley Benton, and all the models that they've sent me today are ones that I've never tried before, but I did have a hand in designing, so that's my little, one of my little side gigs. But yeah, so if you love them, it was me. If you hate them, then uh, it, <laughs> it was somebody else. All right, let's open it up. Oh, cool. So this is one of the newly released EX84 Moderns that comes with EMGs. Now, I was part of the original reintroduction of the EX84 Modern. I still have it here. It's the one that they used for the website photos. And as you can see, I kind of modded it to be more Hatfield inspired than it already was. Like, if you go to the website, I think the hyperlink still uses our original code name. When it was in the design process, we were calling it the Hat 550. So my old one is in vintage white. This new one is in uh, kind of shell pink ish. We'll talk about that in a second. But as you can see, we kind of did have to make a certain design change to the body shape for 2021 because a certain company that likes lawyers a lot wasn't too happy with this shape. Even though it's a lot smaller than an Explorer and it's a much more well-balanced guitar, it still weren't a fan. And so we added this. So especially with the headstock, it's kind of more snake bitey now. Get a lot of feedback on the headstock, like, oh, it's ugly or whatever. I don't really get it. It's just a very simple six in line headstock that doesn't get us sued. Ray Pringle, you said you're a good girl. Pickups are an 8160. Wonder where we got that idea from. And yeah, so if you're a fan of the channel, you know I love my pastel colors. Like shell pink, Daphne blue, seafoam green. I love all of it. This satin shell pink though actually was not my idea. I had no idea they were doing this. And I can't say I'm a huge fan of this color. Like it's very, very subtle. It's almost like when you have a white shirt in the wash and red kind of blends into it a little bit and turns it slightly pink. Like here's a 10S guitar I have in shell pink and that's a much nicer color in my opinion than this kind of, I don't know, slightly non-white. So that's probably the color I would have made it. But regardless, it's still a cool guitar because apart from the color and that little divot, the rest of the specs are the ones I put down on paper for the original EX84 Modern relaunch. Got a mahogany body, mahogany neck, ebony fingerboard with extra jumbo frets. Look at the size of those fingers. They've done a great job polishing the fingerboard and frets. Like, that's so shiny. Graph Tech nut, no fingerboard binding. I've actually found that the factories in Indonesia are much better at rounding the fingerboard edges 
if my camera will focus. <laughs> As I was saying, they're much better at rounding the fingerboard edges for a more premium feel if you don't have any binding. So decided not to do that on the ebony fingerboard. The nuts are pre-cut from Graftech, so all the slots look good. That's something that I still kind of don't understand. Like Graftech nuts aren't expensive and they're so, so good. Why they're not just standard on everything is a mystery to me. High quality Korean bridge and tailpiece, dome knobs, Grover locking tuners with the mini kidney buttons. You got the belly cut, you've got this super comfortable set through neck joint. I will say, even though the color isn't quite as vibrant as I'd like, the satin finish feels really nice on this. The original two colors we launched were gloss black and gloss aged white and I ended up taking a scotch bright sponge to the back of the neck to kind of get that plasticky feeling out of it. This feels much nicer out of the box. Where the rest of my Volute gang at? Now this is like a $300 guitar with Roswell's 400 with EMGs so you are gonna get these little kind of ugly, I don't know, what is that, like a pencil mark? Other than that, I don't really see any aesthetic defects, which is cool. And yes, it does come with a battery installed already. Yeah, I wish the color was a little more shell pink, but overall, for 400 bucks with EMGs, it's pretty good. And I say that as someone who isn't a fan of EX guitars normally, although in this case, I am <laughs> a little biased. One last flyover, just for fun. Subtle Pink EX84, cool guitar. Let's move on. All right, who's in the mood for some pizza? <laughs> it's from a company called, where'd you get that? I think this is a birthday gift from my brother, but let's open it up and see. Oh, <laughs> okay, all right. So this is a reference to uh, two Ask a Fish episodes ago when we were talking about Dean and Dime. Never a dull day in the world of Dean guitars. Live fast, eat ass. And uh, people are asking for live fast, eat ass merch, and there isn't any, but my brother seems to have taken things <laughs> into his own hands. I don't know if there's a single appropriate time to wear this hat, or whether every time is the appropriate time, but uh, <laughs> Well played, we move. Next box, <laughs> back to the Harley Benton hole now. Let's open it up and see what guitar is inside. Damn. That looks awesome. So this is part of the Harley Benton Pro Series. It's a Fusion 3 in this mind-blowing silver sparkle. QC check by... Uh. So it feels like a polygloss, but underneath is this ridiculously reflective silver sparkle. Brush chrome hardware, pickup covers, even the pickup rings are brushed chrome. Wilkinson two-point trim. I really like the feel of these. They're so solid. Oh shit. Even the strap buttons are brushed chrome. Kind of like a faux natural binding going around here. So the thing about the Fusion series is they're the ones that really changed the game, in my opinion, for Harley Benton and for the budget market overall. Like this series really started pushing everyone else to start doing more in terms of spec for money. So bear in mind, right? This is a $400 guitar. We've got a Wilkinson two-point tram. We've got a roasted maple fingerboard, stainless steel frets, Graftech nut, obviously, love the Nutmasters, locking tuners, and a roasted flame maple neck. The factory that does the fusions is also the one that did my signature model, and they seem to get some really nice roasted maple necks. Even though this one does have a few beauty marks in it, the figuring is so good for a $400 guitar. There is a bit of a wood shortage right now, so, I mean, these pieces could match a little better. The seams don't look too great, but honestly, like, back of the guitar, who really cares? Even the fingerboard is nicely flamed. I mean, dude. Yeah, I mean, I don't even like Super Strats, but the original Fusion, the stainless steel frets, Floyd Rose 1000, about 400 bucks, that blew me away. This one with a two-point trim, the roasted maple instead of a Floyd and regular maple seems to be even better. And the difference between this and the Fusion 2 is really just the control configuration. Uh, so the Fusion 1 and Fusion 2, there was a little mini toggle here to split the Roswell pickups. They're more than usable right out the box, but we figure it's best to keep the cost as low as possible. Uh, keep these as like pre-built mod platforms. Customers can swap them out for taste or leave them in because again, they're fine. But as I was saying about the control configuration, so now the mini toggle is gone and we've just got a single push-pull pot 
to split the pickups. Makes for a cleaner look without that mini toggle. It kind of looks like a DIY afterthought mod. Would have preferred a five-way switch, but that wasn't my call. Yeah, man, again, considering this is a $400 guitar, that neck is unreal. Small little contour over here for better upper fret access. Dude, something about brush chrome looks so classy and modern. So clean, love it. Damn, though, and I, film these unboxings with my phone and it's kind of picking up how sparkly this fusion is but it's definitely more impressive in person like i think the sensor's just being overwhelmed by how bright some of these sparkles are hopefully it'll come out better with the dslr when i do the main demo video yeah so that's the new fusion 3 one last look that's awesome all right, we gotta move on. This letter also just came from England and I have no idea what it is or who it's from. It's got like little hearts on it and the handwriting is quite nice. And <laughs> this was inside. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, then right on. Wow, it's beautiful. Brutal slamming death metal. My brother said he was sending three gifts he wanted unboxed on camera. I'm guessing this is number two. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Moving on. All right, so we got two little packages here. One is probably the last one from my brother, and the other one is a package I've been expecting to finish off a mod project, and I'm not sure which one is which. So here's what we're gonna do. Pringle. Which one? This one? Okay, okay, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Pets and guitars. Basically what this channel is based on. That's awesome. Expect me to be wearing this in a uh, future video sometime soon. Shout out to my brother for the entertainment for this episode. Really cool. Really thoughtful. And uh, let's move on. Which means I guess it's time to open the little mystery package over here. Let's do it. Nice. So we got a couple of really comfortable bare knuckle shirts. Bare knuckle has some really good branded electronic components. So we got some regular large 500k CTS pots. We have some absolutely mammoth CTS push pull pots. And then I love these from bare knuckle. Some of the largest capacitors you will ever see. I mean, look at that. Shit. So you might remember unboxing vlog a couple weeks back. We got a couple sets of custom bare knuckle pickups. And I completely forgot that you need pots and capacitors to wire up guitars. So huge shout out to Bare Knuckle for sending these over. And now we're gonna be able to actually go ahead and finish those projects, which I'm super excited about. But yeah, uh, the guys from Bare Knuckle are super supportive. Love working with them. Uh, and they make some really cool shit. All right, back to the Harley Benton Hall last box. Let's open it up. Oh, sh okay, so this is definitely my favorite of the bunch because obviously it's a single cut. This is the new SC-552. It's a $300 guitar. Got a Graph Tech nut. I'm not sure who does the bridge and tuners. From the one, we got rid of the Roswells, and now we've got Tesla pickups. They're a brand out of Korea. They claim total tonal perfection. And uh, I guess we're gonna put that to the test in the full demo. That color looks absolutely sick. But the biggest upgrade on this from the SC551, which I really liked as well, is that this has stainless steel frets on a $300 guitar. Also, the logo looks much better. It's not that cheap plastic looking one from the SC551. Got like abalone and stuff in there. Here it is from the back. As you can tell, the guitar is very vintage inspired, but there are little modifications. Like it's still very much a set neck, but you've got this angled joint here. Hey, Volute gang. And then even though it's got like stainless steel frets, we've got these vintage tuners with the snot colored buttons. You know, objectively they're so ugly, but on the right guitar, they just work. And these are now made in Indonesia as well. They used to be made in Vietnam. We didn't like the quality. And so we changed the factory and now apparently they're built much better. So this unboxing is kind of cool because both the original Fusion and the original SC550 were probably the guitars that convinced me to join Harley Benton in a limited role. They were some of my favorite guitars for the price point. I really saw them push the boundaries for budget level guitars. And I mean, 
Dude, it's a single cut that's $300 with stainless steel frets. Are you kidding? And we haven't even talked about the figuring on this flame veneer. Unreal. I was almost tempted to go for a silver burst because, I mean, silver burst is awesome and I think it's less expensive than this by about 50 bucks. But I also had to check out the flame and see if it was as good in person as it looked in the photos. And, I mean... I'll let you guys be the judge, but I'm impressed for 300 bucks. Another thing I noticed, the original 550 was an absolute boat anchor. This is a very standard weight for a Les Paul. I'd say about like eight and a half pounds, maybe closer to nine. I'm really bad at estimating weights, but it feels much more manageable this time. It's not a backbreaker. The fretwork seems very good, which is awesome because with stainless steel, it's much harder to fix them afterwards because they are that much harder. Like I love playing on stainless steel frets, it's so smooth, but working with them in like a luthier context, fuck that. Let's see, any push pulls? Nope, very, very vintage. But yeah, I think that'll do it for this unboxing vlog. This was basically a Harley Benton haul video. But yeah, I'm really trying to get in the groove of a proper schedule. That's something I've always struggled with. And I feel like if I don't keep saying it and keep telling you guys to hold me accountable, it's just not gonna happen. But yeah, basically Friday demo, Sunday, Ask Fish. Wednesday, Unboxing, Nostalgia Fish, Mod Project. Basically, other. Let's call it Wild Card Wednesday. But yeah, like, unboxing a lot of stuff is a big part of being a guitar YouTuber. And I like sharing these moments with you guys because it is just a ton of fun. And it's because of you guys that I even get to do this. So, yeah. And I like sharing these moments with you guys because it just genuinely... And I like sharing these moments with you guys because it just genuinely is... Uh, one of the best parts of my day, and it's a ton of fun. Pringle got bored, so I think this is where we're gonna end this video. Oh, he's such a good girl. So again, if you enjoyed the video, let's appease the algorithm gods together. You know what kind of youtube shit they like. Let me know what you thought was most interesting, what you want to see a demo on first. Thanks to all the awesome patrons for supporting the channel. All that money goes to either the video editor or to Luke for doing the mixes, so I really, really appreciate that. You guys are amazing. Social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I'll see you for the next video.